Don't be afraid of losing anybody. Only be concerned with losing your soul. This message is increasingly important as you wade into social media content creation. Because, well, by definition, social media is social, which means you have the constant pressure of saying things and doing things that get validation. Because you will notice when you surf social media that all the top posts, obviously, have a lot of validation. That's how the algorithm works. If people validate, pile on their likes and comments to a post, especially their likes and their shares, well, then, of course, that post tends to get seen. And so as we look through our social media, we're like, well, that's how you succeed. You have to do things that are popular. You have to say things that people are going to like. And that, of course, is a dangerous path to losing your uniqueness, actually. Um, losing your uh, understanding of your energy signature because you become a conformist to what everyone else wants to hear. And sometimes, sometimes, you know, you do get lucky and what you really, really want to say is also what other people really, really want to hear. They need to hear it and they want to hear it. And so they, of course, like the whatever you're saying and, and uh, the post gets seen by more people. But inevitably, some of the time, maybe even most of the time, what you genuinely show up to say and to do and to express is not going to be understood by a lot of people, and it might not even be liked by sometimes even your fans won't like it. So do you then stop doing that? Well, if you stop doing it, you stop truly exploring what the most unique and soulful parts of you have to express. Because if, first of all, you have to understand that um, there is nobody else in the world like you. Nobody else, well, by definition, nobody else has lived your life. Nobody else has had your experiences. And so, of course, the most unique expression that you have is going to be different than everybody else's. And if you haven't explored your ways of expression, you can't really feel, ah, that's really true for me. And so this is why I'm always encouraging all of you to show up consistently and explore your different ways of expression, how you, how you, how it feels real for you to genuinely talk and do your art and explore certain thoughts that, um, especially thoughts that you, uh, that you really believe that really seem true to you that are, uh, relevant to your experience, no matter if you think that it's going to be popular or not. It's not easy, of course, because as human beings, we are completely wired to need and want validation. If we didn't get validation as babies, we would have died, right? We needed the, the support and the, and the love of not only our parents, but everyone else around us in order to survive and become, uh, you know, adults able to support ourselves. So we completely have been built in, you know, our, our biology has, has been built on validation. And that's why it's a constant work. That's what work is. Work is to say, no matter if what I'm about to do right now is not going to be popular or not even going to be understood by, by a lot of people that I know, I'm going to do it anyway because it is what my soul is calling me to do. Having, having experienced this, sat with this, it is what my, my being wants to express. And if it doesn't express itself, my soul starts to wither. 
And I want your soul to be fully expressed in your business. That's what an authentic business is. Now you know what the definition truly is. But it's hard, like I said, to keep showing up as your soulful self, however that ends up looking or being. It's hard to keep showing up like that and not get validation, isn't it? And not only not get validation, sometimes it gets even worse because you, you lose followers. Um, it's not as easy to see if you've lost followers while well, sometimes you look at the numbers. But when you send an email newsletter, for example, you know, you, you, whatever you write in an email newsletter, you're going to get unsubscribes. <laughs> this is the reality. I should let you know, by the way, everyone should assume this. Whenever you send out an email newsletter, you will almost certainly get at least one unsubscription. To, I mean, and of course, the larger your list, the more unsubscriptions you're going to get per, per newsletter that you send. No matter, even if you're trying to be pop, even if you are popular or saying something attractive, you will still get unsubscribes. So no matter what, you're going to lose people. Okay, no matter if you are attractive or not attractive, you're going to lose people. And so, well, what's worse is that if you're not truthful about your experience and about your thoughts, well, you're going to lose your soul. And that's the worst. So please show up. I, I, I encourage you to really see this as a journey and as a practice. This whole thing about social media content creation, I call it authentic content creation. See this as a journey and as a practice of unveiling your soul, of exploring what that means to be soulful for you, and then to unveil that to the world more and more and more as you become more and more courageous in doing so. And as you become courageous and then unveil your soul, what's going to happen is, well, you become more empowered. You'll notice that you become more comfortable revealing the real parts of yourself. And you're not doing it just for voyeurism or something. You are revealing it because you feel it's important to do so. You can, of course, explore your soul and be soulful privately, sure. But content, public content is, well, you believe that the expression of your true self is going to resonate with a few people on the internet who are your kindred spirits, your soulmate fans. Do you believe that? Uh, do you believe that? I hope you do. Um, if not, then let me encourage you to lean into that faith. <laughs> it is kind of a faith that there are people out there who will resonate. The, the internet is so big that even your most truest soulful expression will resonate with some people out there. And those some people, in a sense, are looking for you. They're surfing the internet. And when they see something that resonates deeply, that rings true, for them, they will say, gosh, I really appreciated this. I really appreciate your energy, right? And as they do that, they will continue to benefit and enjoy your authentic expression. And by them enjoying it, liking it, commenting, etc., then the algorithms will try to show your authentic content to more people like them. That's how social media works, okay? When people engage, social media goes, okay, let, let us, let, uh, we're going to show this piece of content to more people like you, more people like you. And so on the other hand, you could see what, what kind of disaster will happen if you try to be popular. You, 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 you notice, oh, that's attractive. Oh, that, that thing gets the algorithm to show things. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to be like that too. Now, if, 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 if trying out what someone else is doing feels true for you, well, guess what? That's still your soulful expression. Wonderful. But oftentimes you feel like you're pretending or you feel like you're not able to really express the truth of who you are. Then what happens is you become a chameleon. 
you lose you 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 add layers and layers and layers of masks um, above your soul, and you lose touch with the truest expression. You 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 not only lose touch with the true expression, you also start to lose touch with a fundamental, deepest sense of well-being within yourself. That is what's the most dangerous thing. And what's worse about all this, of course, is that you get followers. Obviously, by doing what's popular, you will get followers. But the followers are the ones who like your mask. The followers are going to validate and essentially encourage your mask. And as they keep doing that, you keep doing that too. You keep revealing, you keep showing up with your mask on. And, well, then there's a vicious cycle of reinforcing. You get more followers, you do what's attractive or popular. You get more followers, you do what's attractive and popular. And you end up losing touch with that fundamental deep well-being that's only possible when you live in deep truth of who you are. And that's very dangerous. It's dangerous to your health, actually. It's dangerous to your soul. And you end up with a bunch of followers that aren't your kindred spirits, that aren't really the people that you want to hang out with. And so it's going to be hard also to sell things of truth to them you end up not building an authentic business. And yet the popular path is faster. The path of doing what seems attractive to other people is faster. The path of the journey of the practice of diving deep into your soulful expression is slower. But along the way, what I've experienced is that it allows me to feel this deep fundamental well-being. And that is worth everything for me. And as I keep expressing soulful self to, to others, knowing that I'm sending out this ping, ping, ping to my kindred spirits who are out there, the few who are out there, then they start to resonate. They start to engage more people. If this is all again a slow process. Eventually, more people start to notice who are who are my kindred spirits, and then it kind of builds up bit by bit by bit by bit over time. But along the way, again, what you focus on is: Are you showing up daily? Ideally, daily, honestly, because daily is the easiest habit to build instead of like, well. When am I going to do it this week? Oh, and questioning yourself, you know, oh, today I don't feel like it. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll feel more like it. Daily, 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 daily. In terms of soulful expression, daily is much easier to build as a habit. And so you don't question it. Have I, have I publicly journaled today? Have I expressed, have I practiced expressing the truth of who I am today? If I did, then... I consider that a successful day of content. No matter what the likes and the lack of likes are, I consider that a successful day of content because I showed up and I really practiced. I really expressed. And I really explored, you know. And, but having said that, you might say, well, George, um, it can still be very discouraging. <laughs> to not get any likes at all whenever I'm expressing my true self. Well, there are crutches that you can use, okay? One crutch is that you probably already have a couple of soul friends, hopefully colleagues, maybe people you meet in authentic courses like mine, authentic communities like mine, who might also deeply believe in the importance of soulful expression. If you have a couple of folks like that, maybe you can band together and say, can we create a commitment to each other to notice one another's social posts? Maybe we'll set a notification whenever, whenever each other posts 
and to support each other's posts, to at least know that there's a few people who are seeing it and supporting it. That's it. Two other people, <laughs> for example, who are soulmate kind of content creators and who, who have, um, who I know I'm creating for them. Now I'm not going to require them to like everything, but I know that at least they have made an intention to notice that, to notice it and to try to like it if, if they can, if it's authentic to them to do so. So that's, that's one crutch. If, if you, if you need it, of course, crutches are, are not, are not bad and are, are helpful when you are trying to heal your self-esteem, right? Your self-esteem is getting pummeled, pummeled, or where you think it's getting pummeled because you post stuff and nobody seems to notice and you, you allow your self-esteem to be damaged by that. Well, you need a crutch when you're healing and the crutch could be a little engagement pod, content engagement pod, like I've just described. Um, another, I guess, crutch is, um, you know, when you, if you can join some kind of authentic content creation program, I, you know, offer this kind of thing in my communities where you're, you're welcome to post, you're welcome to post and you, the community will try to support you in your postings. Right. So that's a, that's another possible crutch. Um, and it's maybe a bigger community and just a few people. Um, but ultimately, uh, what, what, what also helps a lot is as you keep posting on a daily basis, ideally daily, like I said, you should also occasionally, like once a month, for example, once a month, you look back at your daily postings for the past month and notice that out of those 20 or 30, and depending on if you do just Monday through Friday or if you do every single day, the, uh, out of those 20-ish posts that you made in the previous month, which ones of your real self, right? Your, your soulful expression, which of your soulful expression also resonates the most with other humans? Now, maybe usually you get zero likes. <laughs> maybe that's your average is zero for most of the month. You get zero, 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 zero. Oh, this one got one. Hmm, this one got one, zero, 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 zero. Oh, this one got three likes. One is more than zero, isn't it? Yes, it is. Three is definitely more than zero, isn't it? Yes, it is. And so you notice the ones that even got one like, or gosh, the ones that got three, two or three likes, my goodness, right? Whatever your average is, maybe, maybe you're lucky and you're used to getting average of five to seven likes per post, no matter what it is then, oh, this one got 10 likes. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, this one got 12. Oh, that's interesting. Whatever is above average that, you know, as you show up, as you're, as you're practicing your soulful self, exploring ideas that are important to you, that are meaningful to you, that are insightful to you, and then you notice which, which posts get above average reactions and likes. And then you notice those things. You study like, hmm, why is it this one? Why is it that these three out of the 20 that I posted, these three got more resonance. What is it about these three? What's it the, is it the topic? Is it the format that I did it in? Is it um, the way I framed the topic? What is it? As you study those, you train your intuition. You naturally train your creativity. Your creativity. You naturally train your creativity to say, ah, these are the ones that resonate and serve other humans. Okay, got it. So that as you keep going forward, you're going to naturally create more based on what you've just trained your intuition is better. And so this becomes a virtuous cycle of show up as authentic self, show up, show up, show up authentically, show up authentically, and then analyze of your authentic expressions, which ones also match what other humans are yearning for. Good. Then you learn. And then you show up more as your authentic self, but now with more knowledge and understanding of what also resonates with other humans. You're not trying to be attractive and popular. You're still showing up as your authentic self, but you have many aspects of yourself. You have many ways to express your authentic self. You might as well lean more into the ways of expression that are true for you, but that are also true for your kindred spirits. How wonderful is that? And by doing so, 
you find that intersection, that blessed intersection, I call it, between that blessed intersection between what you love and what they love as well. I hope this makes sense. I hope this is helpful. And uh, I welcome your comments below if if you want to ex express anything that's true for you that, that came from this. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey.